The question says, uh, if I am reading Quran, uh, do I need to know the summary, the summary of the question? The, the questioner is asking, do I need to know the rewards that are promised by Allah Azza wa Jal for the one who reads the Quran? Or remember them and intend them every time I read the Quran or not? Because he or she, I don't know if it's a he or she, uh, they say that sometimes I try, but sometimes I forget to intend the rewards that are promised uh, by the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So I, will I be deprived from these rewards? The answer is absolutely not. Actually, actually, if you don't even know what the rewards are, and you're actually just performing the act of worship, sincerely for the sake of Allah and coinciding with the practice of the Prophet Sallallahu then that is all you need to be deserving of the rewards promised by the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Now the reward mentioned here is that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said whoever recites or reads a letter from the book of Allah will get 10 rewards. And then he said, I don't mean to say Alif Lam Mim is a letter which is the first three letters in Surah Al-Baqarah. He said, rather, Alif is a letter. Lam is a letter. Mim is a letter. So for every one of these letters, that's the count of three here. For every one of these three letters, you'll get this uh, multiplied reward. If you don't even know this hadith, you never heard it let alone knowing it and forgetting it at the time of reciting the Qur'an or reading the Qur'an, you will still be rewarded as long as you're doing something for the sake of Allah. Yani you're not reciting the Qur'an because, oh, my, my son is here, let me show off in front of him that I can uh, read Qur'an or that I read Qur'an a lot, or let me show off in front of my uh, husband, whatever. As long as you're doing it for the sake of Allah, جل, then... That's one part. And as long as you're doing it in a way that coincides with the sunnah of the Prophet, and if you're not doing something that contradicts the sunnah, then you've met all the conditions of an, of an accepted deed, and then the reward deserving, uh, or a promised uh, rather, for whatever the deed is, you will be receiving it, inshallah.